It is Obi-Wan Kenobi Wednesday evening. Come, let us meditate like a Jedi. The question is asked, are Buddhas perfect? And the answer depends upon who you ask. Ask someone who is strung out on Yang. Ask someone who is a minion of patriarchy. And they will in ask someone who embraces the path of being rigid, fearful, controlling, elitist, cryptic, competitive, cruel, and superstitious, and they will insist that, yes, a Buddha must only think certain thoughts and only feel certain things, and they have to watch their heart and their mind uh, with great intensity. However, if you ask someone who is traversing the path of yin, who is an enthusiast of spiritual matriarchy, they will say the opposite. Ask someone who is enthusiastic about being flexible, loving, rational, laid back, egalitarian, lucid, cooperative, and kind, and they will say, enlightenment is not predicated upon what we emote, or what we think, or what we recall, or what we imagine. Enlightenment is simply getting so good at applying the Buddha's Eightfold Path that we are able to do so spontaneously, habitually, easily, and effectively. Regardless of our health, regardless of our energy level, regardless of our drowsiness, regardless of what's going on, a Buddha is simply one who has mastered the Buddha's Eightfold Path, which is why in the Satipatthana Sutta, the Buddha insisted that one could master his path in as little as seven days. So allow me to tell you what you already know. If you ask different people the same question, you'll get different answers. But often the answer you get will tell you more about the person answering the question than it will about the question itself. Sturgeon's Law reminds us that 90% of everything sex, including human beings. And most people on most spiritual paths really tend to be rigid and controlling and elitist. And if that's what you want, you can find plenty of teachers to tell you how you're not good enough, but somehow you're better than everyone else because you know him or her. But if what you really want is to be as peaceful and as loving as your dog already thinks you are, then I would recommend following the Buddha's path from a distinctly yin or matriarchal perspective.